Schwing. So yeah, I got on and I started playing and I realized, hey, wait a minute. I should probably start recording. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Um, uh, hello and welcome to... Uh, how does the beginning go again? Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Jalindo, and <laughs> we're playing Galactic Civilizations 3. This game is still in beta. It's beta 4. Uh, there will be changes. It's not a final product, um, and the developers are awesome, so you can, you can be sure that the release will be um, just awesome once they get done with it. I'm very excited about this game. I already see the direction it's going, and I'm loving it. So, um, yep. Have faith, believe they will. Uh, they will get everything together by the time this game releases. Um, the trick to life support is to stop letting the crew decide what and when to eat. They will eat dense sludge when we use fields to pipe it directly into their mouths. Uh, still playing as the dragon. They have a. Uh, there's an odd sense of humor to this game. Um, sure. Yeah. Let's go with more uh, life support. See how far we can get. Keep moving towards the uh, planet. I don't know if we actually have weapons that can do any damage to planets. So it's maybe a waste of time completely. So, yeah, we'll find out. Ooh, Starbase. We'll pra let's practice on the Starbase. Starbase has 26 beam defense, 3 missile defense, and 15 uh, kinet defense. Can we even do anything against that? I don't know. We're going to find out. Ooh, let's destroy their shipyard. Yeah. So this may turn disastrously bad. Oh, come back here. No, go, go, go come down this way. Um, declare war, yes. Attack, please. Um, oh, we should probably wait till that one was ready. Um, idle ship, pass. Turn. So we're gonna go and attack. Very next turn. There, cool. Um, 57, 60, and 24 with hit points of almost 300, and they're defending with 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. I think we're going to win this one. Start. Okay, there's our troops on the left, and their troops on the right. Chase camera. <laughs> Missiles away. Oh, there goes their survey ship. How do you actually um, maneuver the camera to see things? Cinematic. Interesting. Boom. Yep. We blowed it up. Oh, a little stat screen. Look at this. Damage inflicted 107. They dealt uh, 21. We lost one unit, a uh, DRF sniper. They lost both theirs, including their shipyard. That was really cool. Neat. Boom. One down. I wish we could. Uh, we had some way to merge these fleets. I don't understand how to merge them. I would like to know. Cancel. So let's, since this is such a tough target, let's wait till our bigger fleet is ready. Idle ship. Idle ship. Pass. Turn. I really want to merge those two together. They'd be great together. Attack. This is the uh, our big offensive ability here versus their um, starbase. So what I think is going to be the turning point. I, I'm sure we're. I feel like we're going to win, but they have only three missile defense, and we have 60 missile capability. So I think that's going to turn out well for us. Cinematic camera. Boom! Okay, that is so cool. Top down. That's that's probably the, the main camera view that you can actually see stuff in. Show HUD. Okay. There's the star base. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Where are they firing? I think they need to work on the... Uh, how, how these things point each other. Because they were like firing at each other. That was kind of funny looking. But we won. We blew up the star base, even though it's still floating there. It's actually blown up. <laughs> um, this may be a bug. And uh, th obviously these things are going to be fixed. Population loss, negative 214... No, negative 2.1 million people. Population lost. That's something they're working on because I know their crew thing is coming soon. Perfectly fine. 
they go and fix it. Boom, 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 boom. So, here's the question. Big question. Can we actually do that to the planet? Can we attack a planet with ships, or do we have to land on the planet? These are the things I would like to know. And we'll find out soon. Scout versus Corvette. Oh, they have a Corvette out here. Um, yeah, let's let's watch our scout get blown up. Here's a little scout. Boom. <laughs> done. All done. Destroyed. He's heading for our star base, which means he's gonna blow up our star base. That makes me sad. We're gonna lose our star base. How about Oh, okay. We're fighting against a cutter, which is an eighteen twenty seven. Man, they've got some strong ships. I have, oh, hold on. I have 278 hit points. Down here they have like 4 trillion hit points and negative 2 million point, 2.1 million of all these things. Confused? I am too. I have no idea what's going to happen. This may be uh, very buggy. Oh, missiles away. Boom, 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 boom. I think we won. Did we win? We won. That was weird. I'm guessing it's just a display bug. Okay, now can we attack the homeworld? No, we can't. We're, this is probably one of the things where we're going to have to uh, actually have transports to get down and attack that. So let's look at the technology tree real quick, shall we? We have warfare. Missile specialization. Kinetic specialization. Missile weapons. Militarization, defense systems. So that's defense. That's shipyards and defense platforms. So where is the point where we can actually land? Intimidation doesn't seem like the right place to be. Engineering doesn't seem right. Imperialism doesn't seem right. Um, tech tree. Oh, thank you. That's, see, this is what I was looking for, a tech tree. Uh, let's look around. Slave pits, labor management, slave mills. Slavery focus. Dringen are all about slaves, apparently. Persuasive research. Researcher motivation. Double air quotes. Motivation. Um, agriculture motivation. Agriculture adaptation. Xenobiology. What am I missing here, people? Oh, here's the warfare. Okay. I thought that was just uh, the whole tech tree. It was just one of the types. One of the, one of the tech trees on the left. We are in the age of war. Okay, so we're a little behind on research. Um, augmentation, kinetic, bombardment, shelters, defense, spore weapon, planetary invasion. Here's what we need. Let us let us build transports to invade planets. That's what we need to get done. That'll go through milita militarization, apparently. Okay. Okay, does that mean that they're going to research through that? I don't know. I'm just going to tell it manually. So we can't actually attack anymore. So we're going to have to maneuver. Let's see if we can go down here and save our star base in case they go in that direction. And then we'll come up northwest and attack them at their home base. Blow up whatever's left. Oh, they are coming. Uh, not going to be able to save it. Run, star base, run. Oh, wait, they can't run. Boo. Bye, Starbase. Nice knowing you. I need to play. I feel like I need to play some sad music or something. They're putting up a good fight. Oh, there it goes. Nope. Ah, lost my Starbase. We're coming for you, Mr. Corvette guy. So this is interesting. Oh, because I lost my star base, I, lo I lost the ability to go further than that. Irritating. Guess we need to... Um... Oh, they built another shipyard. Well, we'll just blow it up again. Start. Oh, yep. These are fun to watch, right? See, they're spinning around. It looks weird. Pew, 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 pew. Look at those missiles just flying in random directions. 
that is gonna look awesome when they're done with this battle phase thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy that very much. Okay, so yeah, where are we going? Let's go back to uh, let's go back to to protect our bases. So I'll send the uh, the weaker fleet over to this star base, and we'll just we'll just protect them. Patrol our, our areas. The United Plans has grown concerned that a certain race has become excessively wealthy by exploiting the other races of the UP. It therefore it proposes a tax on the wealthiest race for two years. The revenue generated will be equally distributed between the remaining members. The civilization with the largest treasury must give 25% of their credits to the remaining UP members. It would be nice to actually be able to see who, who has the most so we can see what result this would have. Could be me, it could be them. Let's say yes. They voted yes. Is this one going against us? I have no idea. Hmm. Um, how do we find out if we got that or not? Technical not interference, negative one, spending, uh, da 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 da. It didn't come. Uh, maybe next next turn I'll find that. There's no point in building something if it can't be used for fighting in or with or on. Dragon have a one track mind. It's very nice. Military specialization. Soldiers and guns are good, and we we like them. We should have more of them and better ones, and more of them again. <laughs> again, one track mind. Where's that uh, tech tree? We need to go with War Machine, right? Yes. So you get War Machine by going through Military uh, Specialization. Cool. It doesn't say it unlocks that, but these do. Okay. So I want to unlock Enhanced Training or Defensive Systems or Military Spending. Let's go with Enhanced Training. We've got enough ships for now. Hachi Machi. Do you see her income jump up by a bunch? That's not reflected in this. Net, oh, hold on. Net income plus 41. So our, our, net in, our income just bumped up a lot. Now it's not bumping up like that. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. They're coming for us, aren't they? Oh, they're coming for our other star base. We can't catch them in time. They're really fast. We can only move twice. They can move five times. They outrun us in everything. Well, they're going to blow this one up, too. Can't actually even get back to save it. Um, we know who's going to win this one. Start. It's going to be them. Let's speed it up a little bit. How does the fast speed look? 2x. Wow. We're actually doing pretty good against them. But nope, we lose. Lose. Oh, well. All right, so I guess we need to move to protect our shipyard. Hopefully we can even get back there in time. They're coming right for it, too. We do have another fleet somewhere, don't we? Yeah, they're here. I guess this is going to be our fleet to defend, uh, defend the homeland. 24 kinetic versus 18 and 27. Um, yeah, why not? Let's make sure we stay close enough so they can't get by us. It takes a lot of effort and a lot of leashes to stop drinking from fighting and eating each other. But now that we have those leashes in place, our shoulder, uh, sh soldiers should be that much hungrier for the food uh, for the food species. War Machine. Garrison and Champion's Temple and unlocks Planetary Invasion. Let's see if we can unlock that Planetary Invasion and start invading. Oh, there comes their ship. And they're going to fight us. Wow. So, they're on fire. But we only have four small ships. So how are we going to do? Pew, 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 pew. Boom. Got them. Victory. Victory to us. Victory to us. Victory, 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 victory to us. We win. Okay, we can dock back at Kona. Good job, guys. 
I'm going to send our, our fleet back up here to guard this planet so we can take it over soon. I'm going to send this fleet down here to Kona and merge up with that other fleet. This has been fun. A mysterious single, single occupant craft has appeared in orbit around our homeworld. Our ships quickly surrounded the intruder, who explained that she's a scout from a peaceful but secretive race from the far side of the galaxy. In exchange for her release and provision of supplies to repair her sensor device, she offers you samples of advanced sensor technology her people have. We can either say we'd be glad to help her for no reward, but certainly won't turn one down, and making friends with a species talented in the arts of scouting seems to be a, to, uh, it seems like the kind of thing that could be beneficial. Ask if she's willing to share any information about the state of the galaxy. I'd get plus one sensor range for all ships. Or her ship has a lot more than that on it, certainly. Threaten to expose her entire race to the galaxy if she doesn't share something a bit richer. The sensor device, perhaps. So, plus three sensor range for all ships. Or, we're not going to take the word of a spy capable of penetrating our defenses. Confiscate the entire ship. If she, even if she sabotages her systems, the salvage alone will be valuable. And a thorough interrogation will surely teach us more. Let's interrogate. Because we're the evil type right now. Where did the ship go? It said it would give us a ship, but I don't see the ship. Ideology. We do un did unlock another ideology. Um, unlocks the Intimidation Center improvement and generates five malevolent ideally ideology points for each center built. I'm not going to go with an Intimidation Center. That seems like a, a weird, a weird bonus. Like, what happens if you spend those points and then you delete the buildings? Can you delete the building? I have no idea. See, I just confused. We're going to get that, and we're going to go to the next next one. Idle ship. DRF scout. I guess that's the scout we found, but it seems kind of worthless. Not a very good ship. We're going to go ahead and um, decommission. We're going to take this one back to here. You know what? Let's land there, and we'll land them at Kona. And we're going to land them so that we can um, upgrade them. War Machine is going to complete soon. The mere presence of Dringen troops is enough to intimidate our manufacturing slavelings into making guns more quickly. And the troops will, of course, be useful for killing and eating any food that lands on the planet. <laughs> killing and eating any food that lands on the planet. Uh, I just love the way they put things. It's hilarious. Um, in a kind of dark, morbid kind of way, I guess. Uh, what are we doing now? Planetary invasion. Let us build transports to invade planets. Ideal. Perfect. Invasion, optimization, bombardment, <laughs> shelters. Cool. We're going to be building transports. We're going to be building transports. We're going to be building transports. Turn. In order to better assist all races of the galaxy, the UP elects a chair being... Okay, so we got a new chair. We can... Uh, they have 49% of the vote. That means we have 51% of the vote. That means we get to be the chair. Boom. We win. Hurrah. dun da 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 now who's going to make stuff to vote on and, and stuff? Us. That's who. Okay, so we're at Kona now. Um, upgrade. Can we upgrade? If we select multiples, we can't upgrade them like that. Okay. Selecting one. Upgrade. So this is a what exactly? We have clicked on it. It is a gunboat. Gunboat M16. So, upgrade to that. How can I tell? It's the same as that. Five, seven. Okay, it's, it's the ones with six on it. Okay. Two. Yeah, maybe we don't need to upgrade these guys. They seem fine, the way they are. Oh, this is, the, this is what we currently have. Okay, now I see. So now we can tell what we need to upgrade them to. This is a six as well. What are these down here? 942. Cool. Okay, so we don't need to do anything. We're just going to get our ships back over there. Um, actually, no, a planetary invasion will complete. We'll, we'll send that fleet with... Da, 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 da. We're going to send this fleet up here to guard Huanger. 
and we're gonna leave this fleet behind to escort the um, transport ship once we get it built. Cool. There we go. Planetary invasion done. Research. For millennia, the Dringen have looked at the stars and dreamed of eating the things there. <laughs> Dringen apparently are, are, are pretty obsessed with killing and eating things. Those dreams are now a reality. Um, okay. Military specialization, defensive, manufacturing, missiles, defense systems, bombardment shelters. Let's go with military <laughs> manufacturing. Um, all right, so I'm going to take a break here, and then we're going to uh, create some transports and start invading our friends to the um, top left of the screen. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Um, feel free to comment below. Let me know what you think, all that kind of stuff. Um, you guys are awesome for watching to the end anyway, so I love you guys. Thank you so much, and remember, keep it clean.